Hey everyone, Todd the Gun Guy. I'm going to be doing a review on my MP40 semi automatic. It's a GSG ATI German sporting gun in 9mm. Stay with me. Uh, this MP40 is German sporting guns and imported by American Tactical ATI. You can see right here there's actually a uh, label there made in Germany. So this is a solid gun. You can tell by the weight of the gun, it's heavy, put together very well, definitely worth the money. You can get anywhere between 480 and probably 550 in a retail situation. I've got the MP40 in the 9mm round. This MP40 comes with an actual 30 round magazine right from Germany. It's a manufactured magazine, you can get these from Brownells. The MP40 is considered a pistol. As you can see, it's got the pistol grip, which is very comfortable. It's got nice distance to the trigger. So it's a very comfortable pistol. Again, I did mention it's very heavy, very robust. I do have a sling that I purchased online, very inexpensive. To be able to carry around your neck at the range. It's also a great stabilizer when you're actually shooting at the range. You could actually put it on the back of your head, just like they did in the war and it really stabilizes the gun, really stabilizes the weapon. It does come with different front end sights. If you're off, up high, low, left and right, you can take it out and adjust it right there. They pop right out and put them back in. They do have the uh, rear sight, which is adjustable as well. You can flip up for long range or keep it down for short range. I actually have it for short range. Works great. I was lucky. I got mine to sight in right out of the box. I could put it in probably three to four inch groupings at 20 yards or less. And uh, it's a very accurate weapon, very fun. You have to be careful in holding the weapon in the front like this at the magazine because you can actually jam. This does have some play in the magazine and it will cause a misfeed by holding it. You're going to have to get your hand up here around the barrel as where you see in most of the films from the old days people held down here. Again, if you get your hand here on the actual weapon itself and hold here, you're going to be fine. Keep your hands clear of the ejecting port but you will be fine holding that weapon, no problems. Again, down here, you could actually cause misfeeds and some problems. The other thing about when holding this weapon, on the flip side is the actual safety. You can see right here, it's the round button. And if sometimes you grab it, hold it, when you're shooting, you can release the magazine. So you have to be careful. This gun does have a safety. It's, uh, it's in a different location versus most of your pistols it's at the bottom here if you can see look really close forward arrow means fire oops crossed is safe the one thing that you really have to get used to is the actual trigger pull when you see when I open the gun you actually see the mechanism that pulls the trigger but it's such a long pull so when it comes to rapid fire it's not going to be as fun. It's really going to take a lot of work and a lot of pull. Long travel for the pull here. That can be changed or you can actually buy a piece to adjust or put in new piece to make it a shorter pull. Be more fun for rapid fire. But if you get used to it, you know when the gun's going to fire, it's okay as well. But again, just won't be fun in rapid fire. All right, there's a couple things on this weapon to be cognizant or aware of. In the back of the gun by the actual pistol grip itself at the upper area above the sling there is an allen key there this could actually or will actually keep the barrel tight it puts pressure on the back of the barrel when you put it together one thing you'll find with the mp40 the gsg ati that it will become loose after one or two times at the range so i'm finding to tighten things up get some light to medium lock tight and that will help a lot of different things Especially these cover screws, which you're going to see in a minute when we get into taking the weapon apart, putting back together. I'm going to show you about this, uh, oh gosh, washer. It's, it's spring-loaded when it 
take it off it has a tendency to pop off and go across the room you got to be very careful with that because that is going to be hard to replace and I do believe you have to get from Germany these actual Allen screws here you could actually get locally at the hardware store at your local uh, set screw companies another thing to be careful and watch of this is the actual front of the barrel there's another Allen right there you'll actually see that that one needs some Loctite because that will actually become loose at the range and your barrel will actually wiggle and come loose so you got to be very very cognizant of this I would do this before you get it to the range truly anything that you have to Loctite go ahead and tighten things up right another area to actually Loctite is your sights there's a little tiny set screw right here that you have to take out and go ahead and put some Loctite because that will back out and that will become loose and pop off. So it sounds like ATI actually has a stock that you would have to put in for a short barrel rifle or SBR and get your tack stamp. But you can actually drill this out right here and it's got an assembly kit that you can actually put a folding stock and truly make it an SBR rifle. The MP40 is fun, affordable, part of history. Until next time, Todd the Gun Guy.